Hello and welcome my fellow Swamp Trudgers, this is Kato Genesis. In this video we will be going over the unique equipment in Point Lookout of Fallout 3. Thanks to the Fallout Wiki, I will be showing you the basic stats of each piece in this format. We begin our search in the Homestead Motel in Room 1D. In this room you can begin the quest The Velvet Curtain and get the Cryptomatic Spectacles. These are located in the toilet tank in the bathroom, and later on in the Velvet Curtain quest, these will help you get another unique item. If you go around the back of the Homestead Motel and go to room 1K, you will be in one of the locations of the Pint Size Slasher Mask. If you want both, the second Pint Size Slasher Mask is found in Kenny's place in Herzog Mine. Terrifying as this mask is for some, sadly its statistics don't reflect that, giving it a melee of 5, a damage resist of 1, and a minus 1 to perception. Through your treacherous venture in the swamps of Point Lookout, one of the easy uniques to miss is the toy knife. If you head to the Turtle Dove Detention Camp and go south until you find the sign, kitty corner from that sign and behind some bushes is the toy knife. This weapon may strictly be for collective purposes, as it has the lowest damage in the game of 1, but also has the absolute lowest AP cost and a crit damage of 10. Next up is the backwater rifle. When you progress through the velvet curtain, you will need to use the cryptomatic spectacles to break into a Chinese intelligence bunker. A protectron is there to greet you and lead you into a small room, and inside that room you will find the backwater rifle. This closely resembles Lincoln's repeater, but instead uses 10 millimeter rounds, letting you conserve your 45 ammunition for other guns. And even though it has an increased AP cost by five, it makes up for it for having almost three times the critical multiplier chance. The next and more useful melee weapon, the fertilizer shovel, is in possession of one of the tribals at the Arkandub Cathedral. His name is Croatoa, and you can get it from him numerous ways, having the child at heart perk, a good speech, killing him for it, or reverse pickpocketing. Regardless, it'll be nice to have something unique to dig up treasures. This shovel comes in at a damage of 15, but also does a poison damage of four per second for 10 seconds, and this does stack. This also has an exceptional AP cost at 20 for a two-handed melee weapon. If you're going for something a little more gruesome, you might want to go with the Dismemberer. This unique axe can be found in the Coastal Grotto. Inside, you will meet a ghoul named Plick, and if you take part in his safari, he will reward you with the Dismemberer. This axe has a base damage of 25 and has a critical damage of 40, but the special thing about this weapon is its 80% chance to jib the enemy while restoring 5 AP. So if you did not have the bloody mess perk, you can still get the same enjoyment with this axe. After arriving at Point Lookout, it's only a matter of time before you end up in Calvert Mansion. This mansion is owned but not so much operated by a less than subtle ghoul named Desmond. He is in possession of Desmond's eyeglasses. If you choose Betrayal, you can get his eyeglasses that way. These unique glasses give a bonus to both your explosive explosives and your small gun skill by 5, and have a damage resist of 1. The last weapon is for the energy weapons users. It is the Microwave Emitter. This is a unique variant of the Mesmatron, and after you get to the final choice in the Meeting of the Minds, you will find yourself in a secret underground facility underneath the lighthouse. And once you complete it by killing one or both of them, you will find this in a storage room towards the exit. This is most definitely not a weapon for long range, but it makes up for it with its above average damage of 60 and wonderful critical hit damage of 100. There's a lot of fun to be had with this weapon. The last unique in this area is Grifter's Fit, and it is worn by the one who brought you here in the first place, Tobar the Ferryman. After discovering the conspiracy with the mother of all punga fruits, and meeting up with Nadine at the docks, Tobar will no longer be invincible. This outfit has a damage resistance of 2, a 1 point bonus to charisma, and a small 5 point bonus to small guns. And that, my Swamp Folk Slayers, is all the unique weapons and apparel of Point Lookout. If this video helped you out with your collection, or you had a fun experience with one of them, or if you just want to BS with me, leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. This is Kato Genesis, thanks for watching, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.